Yo, boys, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the good old-fashioned HPL gameplay. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, Crusader's POV is the Assassination Rogue, and I ended up uploading this because obviously I have the content here. But uh, if you haven't already, make sure you check the comments. Comment whatever you want to comment, whether it's for the algorithm or whatever. I don't really care. Give it a comment. It always helps the video. Obviously, I'm just posting whatever I got since... Um, Rogue lately has not been that fun. It has not been that fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's been okay, but like Outlaw Rogue, if you're not playing with really good players, it just like it feels iffy. It's like okay, if they're not stacking, I'm doing no damage. If they are stacking, I'm actually able to catch up with everybody and do even more damage. But it's like in Solo Shuffle, it's it's really fun, but everything else, it just feels like you really you you just have to have good teammates, or it's just not fun. But uh, regardless. Uh, we end up going about 5-1. The one game I lost is the one game we should have won. So the double melee end up doing less damage than a priest that was getting focused by two melee. Which is usually never even possible in any world ever. But for somehow, this this was like the one round I should have went. This was probably the one thing that I should have went 6-0 with. Because that this holy priest wasn't even playing that good. Then again, I was also playing kind of I was playing pretty well to be honest. So overall, this was not bad games. So here I end up using my um, my healing here because obviously uh, at this point in time we're, we're not in the best spot. Now I could have tier deliverance which I probably should immediately because obviously it's so hard to get that ability off. It's actually unbelievable. So here I see and glare him. I don't even know if I hit him here but I'm pretty sure I got him because he's not kidding me right now. And I don't think it's the yard. So here he blinds me off it and I trinket it. So here he's trying to kick me. I think he was waiting for it to see if I'd fake cast. So here I pre-aura master. He is stunned because I know he's going to stun me. Because if the rogue's running after you, he's most likely going to CC you. So here I tier deliverance while my aura master is up. He tried to step kick me, realize I had aura mastery up. And it was ba basically perfect. Otherwise, I literally never would have got it up. I hauled the rogue instead of the priest because it's DR'd on the priest. We get trinket from the rogue. And then we fear the priest. And we end up killing the rogue right here. So here I could have rep. But at this point, I don't trust my priest to use disperse. So I just run in the bomb instead of going for the rep. So, but uh, yeah, pretty much an easy game. This guy obviously, Crusader is gonna say something every single time, no matter if he wins or loses, he's gonna say something. This is like just a typical behavior. Now, then again, I did give Crusader 100k gold a while back on my undiscovered HPL. So, to be fair, uh, I think if he knew it was undiscovered, we'd be pretty good homies. I ain't gonna lie. I hooked him up. You know what I'm saying? I do have like 5 million gold. I finally got my tier 3 on my rogue. Obviously, I think everyone knows that by now. It'd be looking... It looks good on the DH, the Druid, all my leathers wear it. Well, obviously, I don't think all of them wear it, but most of them. I mean, it's a baller set. I want the Swiss Special Tiger, but I need to get in one of those Discord. I need to get my Gladiator so then I can join those Discords so I can make the freest gold of my lifetime. But, uh, yeah, here pretty much. We're doing big heals. We're trying to basically... I repped off his blind because he's not going to be able to... I don't think he knows. Which I don't think he... Every time somebody brings it up, blind is 5 seconds and not 6 seconds. So you're actually not able to snap off your blind unless they give you a second to do it. So if he clicks a single global during that 1 second, whether it's an whether it's a global or not, he'll still get... You won't be able to snap him. So here I'm like, okay, I don't think he knows that. Or he's just waiting to gouge off it. And then I just go for the rep. Again, I rep him again. So another full rep, off my full rep that I already did like before then. So here are just two beautifully good setups. And then he cheap shots off that, which is really good. And then he groats off that. And then he DR kidneys off that. He's literally full CCing to the max extent. And then the SP ends up soloing the uh, DK back there. So pretty much that's how that goes. I think this is like the only time he like he complained his last. Obviously, when he's winning with somebody, he don't care too much. But if he loses that person, then it'd be going down. I'm kind of watching the gameplay with you as I go on and and 
that's pretty much that. So when you're playing with a rogue, best thing that you can do is instantly go LOS, let the rogue sap. This DK had the wrong idea. Again, this is 2250 MMR, so this tells you exactly what type of players is in the game right now. Uh, I'm not even going to bother dispelling the the silence, because if I dispel the silence, I'm going to get CC'd for 3 seconds, and then I'm going to get stun veered. So here, had I dispelled, he would have got basically 3 more seconds added on to the already max CC that he already has. I'm not going to trinket. Sometimes you have to have faith in your teammates to click CDs. Uh, like here, this was a very questionable button. So here I just bop. I could have maybe got away with land hands, and that would have been that. But the problem with land handsing there is uh, I'd most likely have to sack anyway. So here I pre-sack because uh, it was a bad sack, but it ended up being good because they end up not swapping back to the uh, DK off my sack, which is the worst thing that you can do. I end up pre-sacking the end cap, so it ended up being really good for us. And then on top of this, they end up going swapping to the rogue for like the remainder of the game, I'm pretty sure. So here, my DK has zero CDs. My rogue still has evasion, cloak, and cheat death. So it ended up being the best sack I could do. So here, I, f I dispel the fear. He needs to vanish. So here, he vanishes. Perfect vanish. But then he comes back out. Maybe a little bit too early, but it ended up being okay. He ends up evasioning. I'm not going to trink it because he has evasion up. A very risky play, but here I trink it immediately on the fear. At that point, you treat fear like a blind. As sometimes, you can hold... If they don't have any CDs, you have to click. So let's say my rogue didn't have Vanish or Evasion there. I would immediately Trinket or even Bubble. Maybe if I know more CCs coming, I'm just going to Bubble and I'm just going to spam here. So here we end up getting another W and pretty much an easy matchup. Not, not you know much to go off of there. But, uh... Pretty much, the game's actually pretty fun. I mean, I think the one bad thing is, uh, what is the word here? It sucks not having anybody to queue with in threes. Like, a lot of rank ones and stuff have a lot of, like, buddies that are really good to play with. And obviously, I have my brother in truth. But, like, it's just not as, it's not as fun as it was. Because if you don't play a comp perfectly, and the people don't have experience on those classes, it just makes it so hard to win games it's just unbelievable that's why i like solo so much because i could play multiple classes i didn't have to rely on lfg to just be able to play the game obviously i don't have the time so here i get feared full stun into a full fear he ends up deathing for some reason probably to just do damage on me i'm gonna rely on my teammates to use if i trinket here it's not gonna matter because they're way behind the pillar even if i trinket there it's not gonna matter here i preempt the aura mastery so he can't silence me while i'm running in uh, so at this point, we just need to do max healing. If he silences me there, it would have been really bad. Especially if he, because as you can see, he was sitting there waiting to silence me. But I think I, as I ran in, I or mastered, so he couldn't. So here he death marks me. I'm instantly going to bop it. That's what you're doing versus rogues as an H pal or even a ret. Now, if you're a ret paladin, be careful with your bop. Now, you can bop your teammates, but if you're playing with an H pal, don't bother doing that. You have to wait until he has no bops or he's max CC'd and he doesn't have bubble or. Uh, trinket because some people will do dumb things like oh I'm gonna bop this guy that's perfectly fine not realizing forbearance is gonna absolutely the reason H pals are good is because forbearance or it's because their utility but with another ret it literally ruins your forbearance so hard and one mess up by using your CDs and your H pals he's not gonna be able to heal it because the only time an H pal can heal the output of damage is one using their utility so here I just bubble this guy's because I know the rogue is gonna gouge me or he's going to cheap shot me, or he's going to do something to stop me from casting, and this guy's getting low HP. Now you think we would be doing more damage than the SP, but we're actually, both melees are doing less than the, the priest somehow. I don't understand it. So this should be a free win for us. Literally a free win. So I pre-sack here. I'm running in for a rep off of it. He ends up kicking me. It was already DR'd, so it wasn't that big of a deal. At this point, we need to win the game. I have no CDs left. I can free to myself. This is everything they have. We have to win the game. The, somehow this SP is a god, and they end up surviving, and we end up losing this match. The one matchup we should have won, even though they have a... We actually probably have a the same equal as comp. So here, I'm just dead. I have no CDs. I have no insta-cast. It's GG. So, he just had burst coming up, and I don't know how they managed to get double dps Two melees on a priest, but I had my melees just done, you know, typical damage. Like, more than... Like, you should never get all damaged by a caster, a singular caster, when you're on that caster, if that makes any sense. It should not be possible. So, I can already tell this SP was getting pre-cog 99% of the game. 
But again, it is what it is. Twenty two. The difference between 2250 and, a, and Solo Shuffle and Arena isn't really that much of a difference. Uh, until you get up to like 2400, it really just, you don't see a player difference. Like between 2k and like 2300 players. They're pretty much the same things. But uh, here I get silenced. And that's pretty much that. I'm hoping they fix the MMR system soon. That'll be nice. So here at this point, when you're facing, um, I want to say, uh, I want to say when you're facing a rogue, what to do, but I already pretty much said that, uh, when you're overall, when the sack and stuff like that. So here I don't have dispel, so I'm not going to bother when you're searing glaring, make sure you're trying to get more than one person. Now it's, it's okay to get one person if, and only if, uh, you know they're going to be doing something. So if I see the rogue running after me and I see him glare at me, he's most likely trying to kidney me, blind me, gouge me. So here I, bl I uh, rep on top of his blind, instantly get his trinket. So it could, it was probably bad because it was early, but we got his trinket, so it ended up being really good. Because just that amount of CC is all we needed to force him into a spot that he was going to be in a bad spot. So here it was kind of a bad trinket because I, I was really wanting to hodge this priest for CC, but I'm literally not able to play and it almost cost us the game. Thankfully, I land hands him off this. I'm not going to bop him because it, all they're going to do is the SP is going to kill him by himself. So here I'm going to rep. Boom, full rep. Insane. He could have probably deathed it. So I'm trying to sit on my Windwalker's port. That way I'm like, I'm kind of near. So here I'm trying to Searing Glare. He incaps me, which is fine. Again, we're going to try to Searing Glare all of them when we can. Uh, you, just make sure you're working on your healing because you will end up losing really hard. And when you sack, you don't just have to preemptively sack things. It's actually not even that good too sometimes. Especially if like, if, the, if they're if they're doing a lot of pressure, if your team's doing a lot of pressure like we are, you need to be doing stuff like this and they'll CC into your stuff. And I'm running a talent to where I dispel, it dispels everybody. I run it versus SPs because it's a huge counter. Same with boomies. So here I'm gonna hodge off the rep. So, and then at this point, he can either come cheap shot DR or DR cheap or gouge. So here he DR groats, or not groats, uh, gouges. And then he DR in caps, literally the most in millisecond CC that you can have. At this point, this guy's going to be taking a lot of damage. He does have karma, but uh, the, the game ends up, you know, as you can see, we literally do double their damage. If the Windwalker did that last game, we literally won instantaneously. Like just not even half that damage. So literally just a free win and pretty easy. So, versus rogues, you want to bop death marks. The one thing an assassination rogue is, the hardest counter, counter to an assassination rogue is a H-Pow, or a Paladin in general. Because all you're doing is you're either going to bop your teammates' death, uh, death mark, you can sack their death mark, you can sink their stun on death mark into a sack. Cause you should be using all your utility to the best of your ability, whether it's sack. One minute sack is such a broken CD, and you can use it People think h is a bad class. Uh, it's only bad when you play versus, uh, like, when you play with bad players. Like, if you're a rude, you're able to somewhat heal them as an h If you're playing with bad players, as you can see in my last game, there was not much I more I could have done, and it just it happens. But as a rest it kind of would have been different because I don't have to do anything but heal. As an h if you don't do CC, you will lose pretty much to every healer. So you have to, like, be involved in the game. So here I know the rogue is going to go on me. I preemptively line the... Uh, the DK, so he can't swap to me with the rogue, because at this point he's king's banging. I'm gonna aura mastery, so then my priest can cast, and then also now I can cast, and it's gonna be damage reduction. So here I end up just getting free cast. Here I can't tier of deliverance again. The one mistake I do a lot sometimes is I try to hold my tier of deliverance like a major cooldown. The issue is it's such an impossible CD to get off. It's I honestly should have used it whenever I had aura mastery. So here I use it right now because obviously he's in smoke bomb, and it's literally the only time I'm gonna be able to use it. So that's just how that goes, and that's you know that's what that's what it is. But here I try to get a searing glare. I think he's gonna kick me. I searing glare both of them into a rep. So here I'm gonna rep him off the silence into a full rep. And at this point I can even go hodge. So I'm gonna hodge off the rep. So here he blinds me, which is fine. I'm not gonna actually. I am gonna bubble, even though he has disperse. You cannot trust your teammates sometimes. You just have to do stuff that you think this SP. I he's been playing pretty solid, so I could have trusted him and. It would have been fine, but uh, we end up winning this game and taking these guys out. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we get more games with Crusaders so we can get some more content. Because we're trying to juice out as much content as possible. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. If you want to see Rogue in the comments, let me know. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. Enjoy the rest of the video.
and have a good day or night. Adios.